Odell Beckham Jr. is still keeping up with Kim Kardashian. Amid the romance rumors, the pair are spotted leaving the Vanity Fair's 2024 Oscars after party on March 10th. Kim Kardashian and Odell Beckham Jr. turned heads as they exited the 2024 Vanity Fair Oscar party side by side, sparking speculation about a possible romance. Addressing the rumors, the Skims founder and the Baltimore Ravens wide receiver shared with People magazine that, although they didn't arrive together, they spent most of the night hanging out once Beckham Jr. joined the event. A source dished some behind-the-scenes details, revealing Kris Jenner's early arrival at the party. The momager reserved a lounge section with couches, showcasing her iconic mom moves while waiting for the rest of the family to arrive. According to the insider, Kendall, Kylie, and Kim joined Chris later, along with some friends, creating a star-studded section that included Jeff Bezos, Lauren Sanchez, and Serena Williams, a true billionaire's row. No, bless him. That's Kim and Odell leaving the Vanity Fair party together, the beauty mogul rocking a Balenciaga gown, the football star sporting a leather fit for the Big Bash. During the soiree, Kardashian apparently had a chance encounter with Lindsay Lohan, exchanging hugs and kisses. However, the real spotlight was on Beckham Jr. when he joined Kim's group, signaling to onlookers that something was brewing between them. ET has learned he has their stamp of approval. We hear Kim's fam is obsessed with a football star. While the couple didn't display excessive public displays of affection like some other pairs at the event, the source noted that there was a noticeable connection. The chemistry between Kardashian and Beckham Jr. was palpable, with lots of touching and close proximity throughout the night. Despite their efforts to keep a low profile, the duo eventually left the party together, leaving curious minds to ponder the nature of their newfound connection. Before Kim Kardashian started dating Odell Beckham Jr., her sister Chloe was romantically linked to the charming sportsman a few years back. Despite the past connection, insiders assure that there's no animosity surrounding the situation. An insider spilled the beans to DailyMail.com, comma, sharing that Chloe has wholeheartedly given her blessing for Kim to pursue a relationship with Beckham Jr. The source emphasized that the history between Chloe and the 31-year-old athlete was nothing serious. Just a few flirtatious moments. Chloe's main priority is for Kim to find happiness in a new relationship. Back in 2016, media outlets speculated about Chloe and Odell being an item, with reports of them seeing each other for a few months. Social media buzzed with a video of the rumored couple at a Las Vegas nightclub and their joint attendance at Drake's Memorial Day pool party in Hidden Hills. TMZ even caught glimpses of the reality star and the athlete looking cozy inside the party. Despite appearances, there were conflicting reports about the nature of Chloe and Odell's connection. While some sources claimed they looked like a couple and were definitely into each other, others argued they had only hung out a couple of times and were just flirting. Ultimately, Chloe moved on with Tristan Thompson, with whom she shares two children. Odell, on the other hand, entered into a relationship with model Lauren Wood in 2019. The couple welcomed a son named Zidden two years ago before parting ways in 2023. Chloe, having experienced her fair share of romantic ups and downs, has given her sister Kim the green light for this new romance. This gesture of approval stands in contrast to Chloe's past experiences, such as the fallout from Jordan Wood's involvement with Tristan in 2019. While that incident caused significant turmoil, Chloe and Tristan eventually reconciled and welcomed a second child together. In the case of Kim and Odell, Chloe has chosen to be supportive, signaling a different approach to relationships within the Kardashian Jenner circle. The person in the know is adamant that Chloe never had any particularly strong feelings towards Odell. She thinks Odell and Kim are a cute match, and she is supportive of them. Just recently, DailyMail.com spilled the beans about Kim and Odell exclusively dating. The 43-year-old reality star and the athlete have been publicly linked since September 2023, with rumors circulating about a potential connection between the two. 
According to a source who spilled the tea to DailyMail.com on a Friday, Kim has been romantically involved with Odell since last summer and thought she had managed to keep it under wraps. She is not seeing anyone else right now, at least not that her close friends know of. The insider explained that both Kardashian and Beckham Jr., who are rumored to attend the Super Bowl together, made a conscious decision to keep their relationship private to avoid rumors that could paint the Skims founder as a homewrecker. Their romantic journey began shortly after the football players split from girlfriend Lauren, announced in September of last year. The former couple shares a one-year-old son named Zidden. Kim really wanted to keep this romance private for two reasons. One is that he has a one-year-old son with his ex, Lauren Woods. They both wanted to avoid any speculation that he left Lauren for Kim, branding Kim a homewrecker, the source continued. The second reason is to avoid the backlash from Kanye. After what Kanye put Pete Davidson through, Kim wants to avoid that at all costs. It is only a matter of time now before Kanye says something publicly, but he has no solid proof. Kim Kardashian and Bianca Sensori turned heads as they stood side by side at Kanye West's Vulture's listening party on Tuesday, marking the first time fans spotted them together at the event celebrating Kanye's latest studio album, Vulture's One. In a clip from the event, 29-year-old Bianca, currently in a relationship with the 46-year-old rapper, was seen in a pink top capturing the performance on her phone with Kim, 43, standing beside her. The surprise appearance of the two women left fans buzzing, expressing their astonishment on social media. Commenters on Twitter wrote, Didn't expect that. What on earth would they be talking about? And I don't know, but this is crazy, reflecting the unexpected nature of their encounter. Kim, who was married to Kanye from 2014 to 2022, attended the event with their children Chicago 6 and Psalm 4, alongside North 10 and Saint 8. The presence of Kim's children at the event added another layer of intrigue for fans. Despite their unconventional connection through Kanye, Kim is reported to maintain an amicable relationship with Bianca. However, sources suggest that Kim is not entirely comfortable with the risque fashion choices Bianca makes, particularly around the children she shares with Kanye. According to insiders, Kim has allegedly instructed Kanye to ensure that Bianca refrains from wearing provocative outfits in front of their kids. Despite the differences in their fashion preferences, Bianca's attire appears to be more conservative when she is with Kim's children, as observed at Kanye's Vulture's listening party in Miami in December. Bianca, an Australian-born model, has garnered attention for her headline-grabbing outfit since marrying Kanye in December 2022, shortly after his divorce from Kim was finalized. The source suggests that Kim, having experienced a similar dynamic with Kanye influencing her fashion choices during their marriage, understands Bianca's situation, but believes she should have been aware of what she was getting into. Kanye recently defended Bianca's bold fashion choices, expressing his happiness in posting pictures of her on Instagram, despite online criticism. In contrast, during Kanye's marriage to Kim, he played a significant role in shaping her wardrobe, with Kim openly acknowledging his influence in various interviews and episodes of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Despite the differences in their fashion journeys, the evolving dynamics continue to captivate fans and followers of the Kardashian West saga. Kanye West hasn't shied away from expressing his opinions on Kim Kardashian's fashion choices, even criticizing her Skims brand for being overly sexualized. Notably, he disapproved of her 2019 Thierry Mugler Met Gala dress, deeming her corset a form of underwear just the night before the event. It's not just Kim's wardrobe that Kanye has had a say in, but also her appearance. Back in 2016 at the Vogue 100 Festival, Kim mentioned, My husband loves me without makeup. I would wear makeup 24-7 if I could, but he likes me without it. Now, Kanye's influence over Bianca Sensori's style is causing concern among her friends, who worry that not only has she changed since meeting him, but they fear she might be used to promote his latest album, Vultures. Even Bianca's parents are reportedly mortified by the unconventional ensembles she's been spotted in, particularly the recent clear raincoat worn with just a pair of black boots. 
an insider shared exclusively with DailyMail.com that Bianca's family and friends are distressed, not only because of the bizarre fashion choices, but also due to potential legal implications. The insider remarked, Bianca clearly doesn't realize that what she wore isn't only disgusting and setting a bad example, but she is also potentially breaking the law. Meanwhile, Kanye is covered up with five layers of clothes, and when his wife looked chilly while naked and wrapped in plastic, he didn't so much as offer her one of his capes. Expressing their distress, the source continued, Her parents are so distressed over this because they do not recognize her. She would not be doing this unless she was being controlled. In an interesting twist, Bianca features prominently on the cover of Kanye's recently released hit album, Vultures, with her entire backside exposed. Kanye has also utilized her image to promote Vultures-inspired clothing on Yeezy.com, including a wet t-shirt crop top, further entwining her with his various projects. The insider concluded, he continues to lock her in by giving her more stake and ownership over various projects that he has going on, including the clothing. The evolving narrative around Kanye's influence on Bianca's style and public image continues to be a topic of intrigue and concern. There has been plenty of speculation on Kanye and Bianca's relationship, but Kim has managed to avoid the public spotlight for a while now. Over the years, Kim Kardashian's eventful moments have been well documented on television, providing fans with a front row seat to her numerous feuds and dramas, particularly with her sisters on Keeping Up With The Kardashians and later on Hulu's The Kardashians. In 2021 and 2022, viewers were immersed in the unfolding storyline of Kardashian and Kanye West's high-profile divorce, complete with the emotional aftermath. While season two of the show saw limited appearances by her ex-boyfriend Pete Davidson, behind-the-scenes tensions were brewing. Kanye West's intense social media posts targeting the Saturday Night Live alum prompted Kardashian to intervene sending a text urging him to cease his behavior, expressing concerns about the potential harm it could cause to Davidson. Despite Kardashian's seemingly reasonable approach, fans later speculated about subtle digs she might be making at West. In 2022, this included her choice to wear a baseball cap with the slogan, Not Today, Satan, believed by some to be a response to West's ongoing online rants against her and her mother, Kris Jenner. Fast forward to 2023, where rumors circulated that Kardashian threw shade at West's new wife, Bianca Sensori, through her Instagram stories, sharing the 21 Savage and Drake track, More M's, with a pointed lyric about putting on skims. In addition to these instances, Kardashian has a history of more overtly shady behavior, making her journey through the public eye a captivating one for fans. Kim Kardashian is no stranger to standing up for her loved ones, and when it came to Kanye West's feud with Drake, she didn't hesitate to jump into the fray. The ongoing beef between the two rappers involved a series of musical jabs and even a mistaken belief by Drake that West had spilled the beans about him secretly fathering a son. As it turned out, the information had been inadvertently shared by one of Drake's colleagues. Despite later revealing the truth about his son Adonis, Drake felt betrayed by West at the time. Kardashian shed light on the intensity behind the scenes by taking to Twitter in 2018. In a direct message to Drake, she warned, Drake, never threaten my husband or our family. He paved the way for there to be a Drake. Following this, she praised West's success and achievements in a second tweet. Fortunately, the animosity between West and Drake has since subsided. In 2021, the two rappers made amends, at least temporarily, as they both performed at the Free Larry Hoover Benefit Concert. Switching gears to the Kardashian family drama, season 18 of Keeping Up With The Kardashians kicked off with a jaw-dropping moment that had fans glued to their screens. The infamous clash between Kim and Kourtney Kardashian unfolded over a disagreement about Kourtney's work ethic. The heated exchange escalated into a physical altercation initiated by Courtney, leaving Chloe trying to intervene. Despite the intense fight, the sisters managed to mend their relationship. Chloe later reflected on the incident during a QWTK reunion special in 2021, revealing that the family initially hesitated to air the controversial clip, but ultimately decided to include it. 
She also shared her and Kendall's shock at the time, emphasizing that their mom wasn't present during the altercation. The ongoing saga involving Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, and Taylor Swift dates back quite a while. It all began with West's infamous interruption of Swift's acceptance speech at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards. Although they reconciled later, the drama continued. In 2016, West dropped the controversial track Famous, featuring the lyric, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex, why? I made that B asterisk 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 H famous, accompanied by a provocative music video. The video depicted nude sculptures resembling various celebrities, including Swift, Kardashian, and West. Swift and the internet were not impressed, leading to indirect responses from Swift at the 2016 Grammys. Kardashian defended her husband, claiming Swift approved the lyrics. Swift's team denied this, sparking a public dispute, including leaked footage of a contentious phone call between West and Swift. Despite efforts to resolve the controversy, it remains unresolved. In 2016, Kim Kardashian made headlines with a nude selfie on Instagram and Twitter. The revealing photo prompted criticism from celebrities like Piers Morgan and Chloe Grace Mortez. Kardashian, never one to shy away from a comeback, responded to Mortez, welcoming her to Twitter and dismissing her with a sassy remark. Bette Midler also criticized the photo, and Kardashian fired back with a cheeky response, demonstrating her no-nonsense attitude. Adrian Baylon and Rob Kardashian's relationship had its fair share of drama. Baylon made waves by getting a tattoo of Rob's name on her lower back, but the relationship hit a rocky patch when she accused him of cheating. Even though she didn't remove the tattoo until 2015, the relationship's turbulence didn't end there. In a revealing interview with Latina Magazine in 2014, Baylon spoke openly about Rob's infidelity and the impact their relationship had on her reputation, especially after being featured on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Kim Kardashian, always one to stand by her family, jumped to her brother's defense on Twitter. Kim pointed out the irony of Baylon blaming the Kardashians for her career struggles while simultaneously leveraging their name for media attention. It's clear that Kim prioritizes her family, even when they're facing criticism. Moving on to another Kardashian controversy, Kim found herself in hot water over comments made about Indian food on an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians in 2012. She expressed her aversion to Indian cuisine, sparking backlash and accusations of cultural insensitivity. Viewers took to Twitter to voice their concerns, with one user suggesting that Kim's dislike for Indian food might be a blessing, keeping her from visiting India. In response to the controversy, Kim issued an apology on her blog, clarifying that her personal food preferences don't reflect her opinions on other people or cultures. She emphasized that she meant no harm, and was only sharing her individual taste preferences, acknowledging that everyone has foods they dislike. Despite the misstep, Kim aimed to set the record straight and move past the cultural sensitivity issue. Kim Kardashian surprised her fans in 2016 when she posed alongside her husband's ex-girlfriend, Amber Rose, for an Instagram photo. This unexpected selfie raised eyebrows, given Rose's history of animosity with Kanye West. The rapper had taken to Twitter that same year to throw shade at Rose and her ex-boyfriend, Wiz Khalifa. In a now-deleted tweet, West referenced Rose's former profession and commented on Khalifa's relationship, claiming he let a stripper trap him and suggesting regret over their child. Rose didn't hold back and responded with some revealing claims, questioning West's feelings about her absence. Despite this intense feud, Kardashian seemingly didn't mind stirring the pot by posing for a selfie with Rose. In 2022, Rose referenced Kardashian again in an apology on her Instagram story, expressing regret for involving the family in her conflict with West. In another controversy, Kim Kardashian faced backlash in 2017 when she defended the controversial beauty influencer Jeffree Star on Snapchat. Star had a history of controversies, including racist remarks and conflicts with other influencers. Fans criticized Kardashian for sympathizing with him after he criticized her makeup swatching skills. In a Snapchat video, she addressed her fans, acknowledging Star's past but expressing belief in people changing and giving them the benefit of the doubt when they apologize. 
However, fans voiced disappointment on social media, citing the timing and seriousness of racial issues. Kim later reflected on her stance, realizing she shouldn't have defended the controversial influencer. In a separate Snapchat video, she apologized for her initial comments, acknowledging the impact of her words. Kim Kardashian faced some bumps with her Skims shapewear line, initially named Kimono, which stirred controversy over cultural appropriation. Fans on social media raised concerns, suggesting the name was inappropriate. Design professional Sono Fukunishi even started a petition urging Kardashian to change the brand's name, emphasizing the significance of kimono in Japanese culture. Responding to the backlash, Kardashian opted for a name change documented on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Despite potential financial repercussions, she explained her commitment to respecting Japanese culture and the brand's focus on inclusivity and comfort. The shapewear line was eventually rebranded as Skims, receiving a more positive reception. In the realm of Kim Kardashian's past, the sex tape scandal with rapper Ray J resurfaced after he claimed it was a planned business deal. This revelation came in response to an episode of Hulu's The Kardashians, suggesting Ray J's manager told Kardashian about a second sex tape. Ray J disputed this, insisting the sex tape saga was a strategic arrangement involving Kris Jenner, Kim, and himself. He revealed pitching the idea after witnessing Paris Hilton's fame boost from a similar situation. Ray J denied having possession of the tapes, stating they were always kept at Kim's house. This contradicts Kardashian's account on the Hulu show, leaving room for uncertainty about the truth behind the scandal. Kim Kardashian found herself connected to fugitive businessman Joe Lowe, who faced accusations of embezzling billions from the Malaysian Sovereign Wealth Fund, 1MDB. This alleged scammer cultivated relationships with Hollywood elites, including Kardashian, showering them with extravagant gifts and leading to her involvement in an FBI investigation. In a revealing FBI interview, Kardashian shared that her connection with Lowe began during a nightclub appearance in Las Vegas. Their association extended to gambling, with Lowe reportedly helping Kardashian win a substantial $350,000 during a night out in Las Vegas. Additionally, the businessman gifted $100,000 in cash to Kardashian's then-husband, Chris Humphreys, which was spent on fireworks for their 2011 wedding. Interestingly, Kardashian's friendship with Lowe seemed to decline when she started dating Kanye West. The rapper performed at a party hosted by the financier, but according to Kardashian's FBI interview, West distanced himself afterward, feeling that Lowe pays for friends. Kardashian asserted that she was unaware of the source of Lowe's wealth, though she had no qualms accepting gifts from him. Even Kim's dating history is something to behold. At the age of 19, Kim tied the knot with music producer Damon Thomas, who was 10 years her senior. Their three-year marriage ended in divorce in 2003. Kim later revealed that they got married during a wild phase in her life, the first time she got high on ecstasy. Thomas dismissed drug-related claims, referring to their relationship as young love. Moving on in 2003, Kim started dating musician Ray J after meeting him while working as a stylist for his sister Brandy. Their three-year relationship gained notoriety with the release of a sex tape in 2007, recorded during one of the few times Kim took ecstasy. During an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Kim candidly admitted, Absolutely, everyone knows it. Like my jaw was shaking the whole time. In 2018, Ray J made claims about their sex life, but Kim dismissed them as lies on Twitter. In 2022, rumors circulated about unreleased footage from their sex tape, but upon investigation, the acquired hard drive contained nothing unseen. Ray J labeled it all as such a lie when the storyline unfolded on the Kardashians. In 2006, Kim crossed paths with Nick Lashie six months after his split from Jessica Simpson. They went on one date, attending a matinee showing of the Da Vinci Code, which attracted paparazzi attention. Reflecting on the rendezvous, Lashi suggested that Kim may have played a role in calling the photographers. Despite a great time, they lost touch over the years. In the early days of her career, while working as a stylist on the set of Moesha, Kim Kardashian crossed paths with Nick Cannon. At that time, Kim was in a relationship with Ray J. 
However, after the split, Cannon tried his luck, and the two began dating in late 2006. Their romance, though short-lived, left a positive mark. In a radio interview seven years later, Cannon had nothing but praise for Kim and her incredible family. Moving on to the football field of love in 2007, Kardashian entered the world of long-distance relationships with football player Reggie Bush. Their journey was captured on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, showcasing the challenges of maintaining their connection while Bush navigated the football season away from Los Angeles. Despite an initial split in 2009 due to the strain of distance, the couple reconciled, went house hunting together, and seemed ready to forge ahead. However, by 2010, they decided to part ways again, citing Bush's busy schedule as a significant factor. The summer of 2010 brought a dalliance with Dallas Cowboys player Miles Austin. The couple, known for keeping their relationship low-key, enjoyed double dates with Kardashian sisters and shared an understanding of each other's demanding schedules. Despite their relationship being described as stronger than ever in September, they eventually decided to go their separate ways. In a brief romantic interlude, Kardashian briefly dated her bodyguard Shengo Dean in 2010. Their connection began in Australia, where Shengo hails from, and they later reconnected in New York City. Documented on an episode of Courtney and Kim Take New York, the duo went on a few dates, but their flame fizzled out. In late 2010, fresh off his split from Halle Berry, model Gabriel Aubrey found himself in the company of Kim Kardashian. The two were spotted courtside at a Lakers game in November, catching a movie together and even sharing Thanksgiving with the Kardashian clan. Despite taking things slow, their brief relationship ended by December. According to sources at the time, they decided to remain friends after realizing that being friendly might be a better fit. Moving swiftly along in December 2010, Kim Kardashian found herself in the arms of basketball player Chris Humphreys. Their relationship progressed at a rapid pace, and after just six months of dating, Humphreys proposed in a bedroom filled with roses, captured by keeping up with the Kardashians' cameras. The couple tied the knot in a lavish ceremony in Montecito, California in August 2011, surrounded by a star-studded guest list. However, not everything glittered as it seemed. Scenes from Keeping Up with the Kardashians revealed disagreements leading up to the wedding, and during their honeymoon, Kim realized that the marriage wasn't meant to be. A mere 72 days after saying, I do, Kardashian filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences in her statement. Chris Humphreys initially sought an annulment, claiming fraud, but later dropped the request. The former couple reached a settlement in April 2013, finalizing their divorce in June 2013. Reflecting on this tumultuous experience, Kardashian acknowledged handling the breakup the wrong way, expressing regret over not opting for an annulment. She revealed feeling pressured to get married, especially with the wedding being filmed for the show. Kim admitted to using their production money on the extravagant wedding, dismissing any notion of the marriage being fake. Then came Kanye. That relationship alone could be a whole video. Then came Pete Davidson. Their story began in 2019 when Kardashian first met Davidson during a night out with her then-husband, Kanye West. However, fate intervened, and they reconnected in 2021 when Kim hosted Saturday Night Live. A spontaneous kiss during a skit sparked a connection, prompting Kardashian to reach out. In a candid revelation on the Kardashians, Kim shared, I called the producer at SNL and was like, Hey, do you have Pete's number? I was just thinking, Heard about this BDE, need to get out there. I was just basically DTF. Their friendship escalated quickly, with public sightings at an amusement park, a trip to Staten Island, and a Palm Springs getaway. The new year ushered in a romantic Bahamas vacation, and in March, Davidson officially labeled Kardashian as his girlfriend. Their social media debut came with Kim playfully navigating the uncharted territory of posting about significant others. On The Ellen DeGeneres Show, she confessed, I haven't dated since before Instagram existed. I don't know what the rules are. April marked their red carpet debut at the White House Correspondents' Dinner, followed by a dazzling appearance at the Met Gala. Despite managing West's social media reactions, Kim and Pete shared cute moments online, showcasing their blossoming relationship. 
In July 2022, Kardashian visited Davidson in Australia while he worked on a film. Despite the challenges of long distance, they seemed committed. However, just weeks after Kim returned home, news broke of their amicable split attributed partly to their demanding schedules. Reflecting on the relationship in a June 2023 episode of The Kardashians, Kim expressed a desire for more privacy. You obviously learn from every situation, and the one thing I learned from the last situation was the media made me feel like I was in a very serious relationship so quickly. I just want to sneak around a little bit. There's nothing wrong with wanting to sneak. That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching.